What's going on YouTube? You had a gamer 101 here and welcome to the home screen of Dark Souls 3. It is finally time after all the guides and all the stuff that I've done for this game to sit back and just play through it. Now what this is going to be is a let's play walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to be playing through the game. I am not sure if it's going to be 100%. I will be getting all the SS shards, undead bone shards and doing NPCs and stuff. But to get every single item in the game, I don't know. Um, I'd rather just play through it. Um, so I'm not sure, but if a lot of people really want it, then I will do it. And if you are going to enjoy this series and are excited to do this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It helps the video a ton. And before we get started, one last thing. I want everyone out there to ask questions if you need it. I have had so many questions over the, like, the 50 guides that I have done. And I can't keep up with them anymore. I can't just keep reading the emails and stuff. So it's really hard. So if you have any questions, there's no stupid questions really. I mean, I've had questions on how to attune spells, how to equip weapons. And then I've had more complicated ones about the NPCs and stuff. So I'll do my best to answer all of those. That's what I really want this to be about for beginners and for advanced players. So we can just enjoy the game together. Because Dark Souls 3 is phenomenal. This is an amazing game. I have beat it what like five times these are just some of the characters that I've done all these for guides that's the build I just did right now I, I love this game and I can't wait to play through it again with you guys but without further ado let's go ahead and go on a journey in Dark Souls 3 yes indeed it is called Lothric where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Seeketh 
All right, so if you have, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in the title or not. Um, I am gonna be doing a pure strength build, at least for now, I think so. Uh, I'll go ahead and name it United Gamer 101. The reason because is honestly to me, if you're a beginner, and this is not how the past games have be at, been at all, honestly, intelligence or, you know, any kind of miracle type thing build was always the easiest in the past Souls, but they changed that in Dark Souls 3. This game is so much easier as a strength build. Like, it blows my mind, or even decks. Like, if, I mean, you can use spells to buff and stuff, but if you do a pure intelligence spell, like just sorceries, you're asking for a rough time. Uh, so... I am definitely not going to do that with that. Um, honestly, with your burial gift, I recommend the fire gem. Uh, you can get this to get the little extra souls. Uh, the, the rest, I mean, maybe a rusted gold coin. But, I mean, I would you can buy the life ring later on from the handmaid. So, I would say the fire gem. Now, I have a... What's a, a default? And it's not really what I look like. But, um, it's the only one that looks decent. And yeah, you know, my dream body type thing. <laughs> um, but uh, for a pure strength build, there's two possible things you can do. Now, I get this asked all the time. And I know they have to be new to Dark Souls, at least most of them. And they ask, what class did I start with? Um, the class is not like other RPGs as much. It's not. I mean, it does have to do... With your ultimate build if you're going for a nice pvp build it does because you want your luck low unless you're doing a luck build that's your number one thing so obviously i recommend the knight uh, pyromancer i only recommend if you're doing just you know pyromancy or a hex build which i haven't seen any hex builds because if you're doing a faith build you don't want your intelligence up at 14 at your base start you just you don't because that's wasted stats. You want the thing you want to avoid in your starting class is your wasted stats. So I would only recommend this if you're doing a hex build. If you are doing an intelligence build or something, obviously you know you can start with a cleric and stuff. I really still wouldn't just because the luck's at 13. When in doubt, I would recommend starting with a knight. That's the best thing to me. Uh, the only I have heard the warrior is the best to start for a strength build, but I don't know why. I heard it doesn't, you don't waste as many stats, I guess, because the 12 dexterity. Um, these are the two easiest ones to start off with, too, if you're a beginner. Honestly, I think these are the two best. I'm not sure why I've heard that this one's that better, that much better. I'm going to do the knight just because I'm comfortable with it. Um, and it's just, it's an easy, basic build. Uh, so I recommend starting with that. If you want a hard time, I recommend the thief because all he has is a little dagger. A good for a luck build, but it's really difficult to do that. Um, but it's looking like we are pretty set to go. We'll finalize characterization. Alright, so our journey begins in the Cemetery of Ash. It is finally time to play this game, even though I have played- Oh crap, my HUD is off, my hood is off, because I was doing a build and it looks good on the cover. So yeah, uh, welcome to Dark Souls 3. If you're new to the game, it is based off difficulty, I mean it's known for its difficulty. But the thing about Dark Souls, you gotta realize, is once you get it down, the combat system and stuff, the game's not that hard. This game was not hard for me. It really was. I, besides the name was King, gosh, he was brutal for me. Um, other than him and Aldrich, I really didn't have a hard time. The Dancer was pretty easy. Pontiff was easy. Um, I think I only died to four bosses on my first playthrough. Um, the, the name was King... I didn't even do on my first playthrough because it was in Japanese and I didn't even know how to get there. Um, but over here, 
I'm gonna show this off. I'm not gonna do it right now, and I'll explain why. You have one of the little Titanite demon things. I, I don't even know their official name. I'm just pretty sure in Dark Souls 1 they were called Titanite demons, so we're gonna go with that. Um, if you kill it, it's gonna give you a good bit of souls in the beginning, so that is good to have, and you might as well go ahead and take it on just to get the souls, because even if you die right now, you're not alive, you're not anything, so it's not a big deal. Um, but you're gonna get a Titanite skill, which is not even useful for you right now, because you use those to upgrade boss weapons that you're gonna get much later in the game. Well, not really much, much later, but later on, so you don't need to do it. You can come back to it later. Uh, so if you are intimidated by it or you can't beat it, do not worry about it. It's only a couple thousand souls, so it's not a big deal. I'm not going to do it right now, mainly because, like, I, I don't need it. Because he only gives me a Titanite skill, and I just don't want to die right now. Uh, he's much easier if you come back later on and fight him then. Uh, so I am going to try to go as far as I can without dying in this. Uh, I don't know how well that'll be. Um, side note, yes, there's backstabs, critical hits, pretty much. They do more damage than your typical hits. So, just in case anyone's wondering on that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right here. If there is an item, uh, I will get it. Um, just so you know. Titanite shards. Upgrade your weapon. I'm not gonna do this in every episode, by the way, guys. I'm not gonna... Because I know a lot of you guys aren't beginners. Just in case there are some beginners, I never realized how many people would be beginners in Dark Souls 3. Like, some of the questions that I got and some of my guides are like, insane. I said I didn't want to die and I already died! Can we just not count that, please? That doesn't count. I wasn't even paying attention. I just walked off the edge. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so welcome to Dark Souls 3. I already messed up my do no death run. Well, I am not counting that. I don't care about... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not counting that. I was just talking about people asking random questions and I just walked off the edge. I don't even know why I did that. Um, but yeah, so a lot of guys have asked me some questions like just how do you equip weapons and stuff? And I'm like, holy crap. What was I even like? Hold on, what's it? I can't even think. Yeah, it's just like that. Okay, I don't even want to do that. I was seeing what it's special was. But um, I, I was just shocked about how many new people there were to this. Uh, but this is Gundir. Uh, easy first boss. Or I say that, I watch me die now. Uh, once you pull the sword, you just want to start hacking at him. You can get a good bit of hits in him before he even grabs the sword. Uh, but the thing is about him, he can pack a good punch. Uh, I want to see, because you can parry him. I want to see if I can land one. Pretty easy to dodge. I swear I did that right on time. Come here, Gunder. Oh, that was, that was stupid. That was stupid. I thought he was going to do a stab attack. There we go. So, yeah, you can parry him. I should have got that first one. That was stupid. I don't even know how I didn't. Good bit of damage. You don't have to. I mean, it's really not probably worth trying to do for the SS class. Because um, I wasted an SS Flask. We having to do that. Once he transforms, I recommend just go ahead and start wheeling on him. Just because you can get a good bit of damage in and roll out. Go ahead and wait to do jumps. Just so you guys know, I don't use a shield often in this game. I don't. Because I just don't see Nessus. I don't need to see the need to. I trust my rolls way more than I trust my shield. So, uh... Yeah, we're not going to really worry about using a shield too often. So I probably wouldn't even really take any hit, to be honest, in that fight if I wouldn't have tried to parry. I just wanted to prove that you could parry him. I am not the best parry in the world. I am very impatient in gaming. So I tend to uh, overdo it sometimes and just use it way too early. I'm terrible at it. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm better than I used to be uh, back in like Dark Souls 1 and stuff. But this game is just so much fun for PvPing. Um, there is an Uchi Katana that we can get up here in the top left. And I recommend you go get it if you are a dex build. A very, very good dex build weapon. It's a great um, katana. Even though it's you can get it this early in the game, I guess we will get it. Might as well get the souls. I mean, he shouldn't be hard. You can just push him off the edge. That's what I'm going to try to do.
As you can tell, I don't do a lot of damage, so I'm just gonna go for backstabs. If he starts kicking my butt, I'm gonna walk away. See, that's why I don't trust my shield. That's why I don't trust my shield, because I always let my endurance... Crap, 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 crap. I always let my endurance get... Um, can't even think. Oh, crap. Yeah, you know what? I'm not messing with him. That's why! No death run, and I die. Oh my gosh. I see, I didn't want to... I'm sorry. I, I'm being stupid. That's why I don't want to fight him right now. He's not a easy opponent, to be honest. And I don't even need it. Okay, there's a death. I'm very disappointed in myself. I went all the way. The farthest I've gotten so far was Catacombs of Carthus. And then I rolled off an edge. That's the farthest I've gotten on a no death run. And I have died twice. Oh, yeah, I'm going to count that one. That one does count, so yeah, I messed up the no death run. <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend taking him on if you're not a dex build. I mean, it's good souls if you you can. I mean, if, unless you're trying to do a no death run. That's the only reason I didn't want to take him on. Because I knew I'd probably die. Um, where's my souls? So yeah, I'm not going to mess with him right now. We'll come back and get him later. He'll stay there. He's going to be the same amount of souls then as he is now. Um, and we'll get plenty of souls in our first world of the High Wall of Lothric. So you have no need to worry on if you don't have enough souls. And uh, so yeah, uh, obviously I'm not going to go too much in depth with this. This is the uh, beautiful lady who levels us up, so she is very important to us. Her name is the Firekeeper. That is her name. Um, handmade and sells us some stuff, and then the blacksmith, you know, upgrades weapons. Yeah, that's pretty much all we have right now. There'll be more NPCs that come along as the further we go into this game. Uh, and then we have Ludlith up there, who is a very important guy on our journey. And he gives us boss weapons later on, so that'll be really good. Let's see, can we level up at all? So, the one thing that I get to end this episode off, and I'll probably even say it in the next episode, uh, is where do you start your putting your stats? Where do you start? They see my build at the end, the Dragon Slayer Great Axe, Katana, uh, my newest build is a Dark Sword quality build. Where do you start? Okay, so what I normally do is I normally start with just health, just to get it so I can take some more damage against the bosses. Um, or endurance uh, and then just for a little few levels and then depending on what weapon I get for my strengths build I'm going to be getting the great club next um, after the deep battle axe that we get so it'll be going deep battle axe and then great club that we get in the road of sacrifices um, and I need 28 strength for that and as you can tell we are very low on that so that's um, where I'm actually going to start with this one just so I can get it up uh, we are going to be doing Yol of Londor's NPC quest line, which gives us five free levels, and I'm going to use that for health. My endurance can go up later. I don't really need it right now. Um, I won't really need it for any bosses anytime soon. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed episode part one. <laughs> episode part one, I don't know. I was about to say that. Of Dark Souls 3. It is a phenomenal game. I'm excited to play it with you guys. Um, I, <laughs> I'm sorry I already messed up our no death run. Uh, gets a katana guy and walking off the edge. I kind of lost hope after I walked off the edge. I kind of lost a little bit of my my soul for that. Uh, but thank you guys for what you're watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and make sure you ask your questions in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all of you guys. I really will. It's just really difficult because some people will be asking questions like two months after this video has been out, and those are the ones that are hard to answer um, because the game's been out for a while. Uh, but thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. And as always, guys, this is not just a channel, it is a family, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.